In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, and a very warm welcome to Mass. I offer this Mass today for the repose of the soul of Mary MacLean. We will all of us know people who are hard-hearted, and there will be times when we have hardened our hearts against other people, times when we failed to listen to them, to listen to what they want to say to us. For all the times that we've done that, and for all the times that we've hardened our hearts against the voice of the Lord, let us seek his mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to reconcile us to God and to each other. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. So let us pray. We implore your Majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, today's first reading is from the prophet Jeremiah. These are my orders. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Follow right to the end the way that I mark out for you, and you will prosper. But they did not listen. They did not pay attention. They followed the dictates of their own evil hearts, refused to face me, and turned their backs on me from the day your ancestors came out of the land of Egypt until today. Day after day, I have persistently sent you all my servants, the prophets. But they have not listened to me, have not paid attention. They have grown stubborn and behaved worse than their ancestors. You may say all these words to them. They will not listen to you. You may call them. They will not answer. So tell them this. Here is the nation that will not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, nor take correction. Sincerity is no more. It has vanished from their mouths. The word of the Lord. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, Harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Christ, King of eternal glory. Shake off all your sins. It is the Lord who speaks. And make yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke.
Jesus was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. But when the devil had gone out of the dumb man, the, out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. But some of them said, It is through Beelzebul, the prince of devils, that he casts out devils. Others asked him, as a test, for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin, and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan. If he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils. Now, if it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me. He, is not, he, he who does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. So as we bring our prayers before the Lord, first of all, let's ask the Lord to soften our hearts to the needs of others, to be more conscious of our neighbour, members of our family and those around us, as well as those far distant in foreign countries. And as I offer this Mass for Mary, the repose of Mary's soul, so we pray for all our faithful departed, all whom we loved and have lost, and that we pray one day we'll see again in God's love. And we ask for the prayers of tender Mary, the mother of Jesus, the mother of sorrows. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Cleanse your people, Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth. Through Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. The Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And so in a moment's silence, we pray for peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. So let's bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that, since we have from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire, through Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.